Hi everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to test if your website is responsive and what it looks like on a mobile device. For that we will need the Google Chrome browser and nothing else. Ready to get started? Let's go! A responsive website adapts the layout to the viewing environment by using fluid, proportion-based grids, flexible images and CSS-free media queries. Many websites have content and design elements that are difficult to display on a smartphone. Grids, drop-down menus and data tables are notoriously difficult to fit on a small screen. If your website is powered by WordPress, then you might know that most WordPress themes are advertised as responsive, but every developer has his own way of implementing this concept. If you have a website, then it is very important to make sure that it looks right on a small screen. Of course, you can use a smartphone to do that, but there's an easier way. If you have a Google Chrome browser, simply open a website just like you normally do. Then press the F12 key on your keyboard. That will open the Developer Tools panel. If it's your first time using it, it will probably be docked to the right side of the screen. Now that we have it open, in the top left corner of the panel you will see this icon of two devices. If you click on it, you will toggle the device toolbar. This creates a frame around your website, and you can easily test it at any width. If you want to test your website on a specific device, you can choose it from the drop-down list. But generally, you should test the range from 360 to 420 pixels. These are the most frequent mobile screen sizes. The 640 to 960 range is for many tablets and smaller laptops. What I usually do is choose the responsive option, which allows me to freely resize the frame and look at how my websites adapt to every media breakpoint. You should use this tool to make sure that the most important elements of your website are always visible. Test your landing pages, the navigation menus, call to action elements, and so on. Make sure to have the appropriate zoom level. When you're testing the text size, then make sure you're at 100%. When you're testing the layout, then you can zoom out to get a better view of a page. Let's test a couple of websites and see how they perform on mobile. Let's start with WordPress.org. The homepage looks to be fine. The themes page also adapts to the screen. Now let's look at wptavern.com. It becomes obvious that the appearance of the latest post on the homepage should be tweaked. What I would do is reduce the white space on the sides and reduce the font size and line height of the post title. This is what it can look like with just a few code edits. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day!